What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here and it's Top 10 Thursday. It's crazy to think, but it's already been two years since the PlayStation 4 came out, and in that time, hundreds of great games have been released. I wanted to do something really tough though. I wanted to try and answer the question, if you could only buy 10 games, what 10 should they be? So this is my definitive list of the Top 10 Must Play PlayStation 4 games. Number 10, Rocket League. This is probably one of the biggest surprise hits of the year. Imagine trying to play soccer in a race car, except this race car is also equipped with jet engines, and the soccer ball itself is the size of a truck. Add in some online multiplayer, and every match becomes a frenzied competition. Few games are able to mix breakneck speed and intense strategy as well as this game does, and because of that, it became an instant classic. Number 9. Until Dawn. This game essentially lets you play through an old school slasher flick, taking turns playing as each of the main characters. The story follows a group of teenagers who are having a crazy party at a mansion up in the mountains. Each chapter of the game lets you play as another one of these spoiled brats, and slowly watch them get killed off one by one because of your choices. It's full of so much dark humor and has so many branching paths that even on my second and third playthrough, it was still hilarious. Number 8. Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition Couch co-op is becoming more and more rare these days. Sometimes the best thing to do is have some friends over, share a screen, and spend hours killing hideous monsters. In Diablo 3, the devil is trying to destroy the world for his own entertainment, so you're gonna need to slay some demons, gain some levels, and find piles of epic loot. Even if you're just playing this game single player, the quests are fantastically written and you can be invested for weeks hoping that you're gonna earn that next badass weapon. Number 7. Infamous Second Son Chicago is normally a beautiful city, but if you have superpowers, you might have a little bit of trouble sightseeing. A special army has set up shop, and they're attempting to capture anybody with mutant abilities. The bad news is that you're one of the people they're looking for, but the good news is, well, you have freaking superpowers. Our character Delson has a very unique talent. Instead of being born with his own abilities, he can steal the abilities of any mutant he comes in contact with. These amazing new powers evolve gameplay so much as you're playing through the story, truly making you feel like a force to be reckoned with. Number 6. Alien Isolation In space, nobody can hear you scream, but they might hear you cry if you run out of flamethrower fuel. We're playing as Amanda Ripley, a mechanic having the worst day of her life. After receiving orders to head to a far off space station, she arrives only to find the ship having some major problems. The communications have been cut, all the helper robots have been set to kill, and a huge alien is snacking on the crew. Unfortunately for Ripley, it looks like she's next on the menu. Isolation stays true to its name by locking you in tight corridors and never giving you enough supplies to feel safe. At any moment, the deadly xenomorph can pop out of a vent and rip you to shreds. Your only defenses are a little bit of fire and a clean pair of pants for when you pee yourself. Number 5. Bloodborne a good challenge makes a game so much more enjoyable when you finally beat it. It reminds you that victory is earned and not given. Bloodborne is made by the guys who brought us Dark Souls, so believe me when I say that it can be extremely tough. In the gothic city of Yarnum, the citizens have been afflicted with an abnormal disease that drives them all mad. When you aren't combating the population, you must hunt down giant beasts in order to find some way to end this hell. Patience is your greatest tool when going against these adversaries, because even one small misstep can lead to an agonizing death. In one hand, you wield your trusty blade, the other a powerful gun, but even with these weapons, you're gonna need to be quick dodge properly, and be ready to see the game over screen a lot. Number 4. Last of Us Remastered Zombie games are pretty played out in modern gaming, but this title's unique for its astonishing storytelling. 
It's been 20 years since civilization fell to the infection, and in that time, humans have had to resort to some pretty hard living conditions. Some dream of a day when life can return to normal, when mankind can just go back to a simpler time without constant fear. Meet our two protagonists, Joel, a smuggler who's lost hope in life, and Ellie, a young girl who's seemingly immune to the zombie virus. The two must now join forces and travel across the United States to a lab that might possibly find a cure with Ellie's blood. Her genetics could be the key to saving everyone, if they can survive the trip. Number 3. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain Even if you haven't dug into the past Metal Gear titles, Phantom Pain is worth picking up. Missions are all about choosing your own path. I mean, sure you have a set objective, but how you accomplish these objectives is completely up to you. Wanna be stealthy and stick to the shadows? You can! Wanna ride in on a horse, guns blazing? You can! When you aren't working on your revenge-filled blood feud, you can build up a base full of special soldiers who will do your every command, or jump in on some online matches. With so many hours of content and replayability, everybody needs to grab a box and join in on the fun. Number 2. Fallout 4 Nuclear annihilation isn't normally a happy topic. In Fallout 4 though, it almost seems like a joyous vacation. After waking up from 200 years of cryosleep, it's time to set out into the Boston wasteland and find out what became of the place you once called home. What makes this game amazing isn't the main story, it's how the story is what you make for yourself. The other day I was playing and I heard some people talking inside of a broken shopping mall, so I decided to sneak in a side door and see what they were up to. It turns out that they were bandits, arguing over some loot that they had stolen, so I wanted to get out my gun and sneak it attack and before they saw me. Before I could even pull the trigger though, a swarm of ghouls came over the hill and mauled them. I was so stunned that I just stood there. It really began to sink in. This wasn't a scripted event. This is just the game doing what it does best. Number 1. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Never mess with a man wearing two swords on his back. Being a witcher is harsh, thankless work. You're assigned the lifelong duty of hunting down the world's biggest, baddest, most dangerous monsters and slaying them for a hefty fee. When Geralt's old apprentice goes missing, he begins a journey that spans hundreds of hours. To say this game's questing is good is a dramatic understatement. Each quest opens up new missions, new towns, and reveals a deep system of consequences. Not everyone can be saved, and when war is looming on the horizon, you end up having to choose who lives and who dies. If you're looking for a more straightforward experience, you can choose to skip this complex story and instead travel the land, tracking monsters and collecting bounties. Just gaining levels in the countryside can be so fun, earning the respect of random townsfolk when you're able to do a kind deed, it means something deep down. As a whole, this game is nearly perfect in every way, and for that reason it wins my award as the PlayStation 4 game everyone needs to play. Did your favorite PlayStation 4 game not make the list? Got an idea for a future top 10? Leave it in the comments down below. Next week, I'm going to be doing the same thing with Xbox One, counting down all the must-play games. The week after that, we'll be counting down the top 10 must-play Wii U titles. So if you have any suggestions for those, also, leave them for me down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and do me the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.